and we're back to German New Objectivity. And I've got the German title there. I unfortunately do not speak German, at least not sufficiently, to actually pronounce it with any great confidence. So most of the artists associated with New Objectivity will serve in the German army during World War I. And that title, incidentally, is very important because this New Objectivity is trying to objectively show the war. No propaganda, like I talked about in the last video. They don't want to deal with the propaganda. They don't want to deal with uh, other viewpoints. They're trying to be as objective as possible, or they believe they're trying to be as objective as possible. They want to present a direct, clear-eyed, honest image of the war and its effects, not just on the soldiers, but on the people at home. And they're going to eschew the idealism and utopianism that marked the first decade of the 20th century. They're disillusioned by the First World War. That wreaks havoc on bodies and society. The artists associated with new objectivity presented an unsentimental realism to address contemporary culture. The artists here will highlight the social and political turmoil of life emphasized through war profiteering, beggars, and prostitutes. So in terms of ideas, they're embracing realism in defiance of trends towards abstraction. But they renounce the idiosyncratic subjectivities espoused by early German expressionists. In other words, they are focusing on what is real. They will use some of the new visual language, but only to pursue this central idea, the central idea of bringing war to the masses. Portraiture and self-portraiture were common among the new objectivity artists. In an effort to paint the truth of the person, these portraits do not shy away from unflattering details or unsettling psychological effects. We get a lot of these images that are so real that it actually becomes disturbing. And again, that's intentional. They're trying to get at sort of what the war has done, not just to the soldier, but to the German civilian. And in terms of origins, the term, uh, this idea of new objectivity, which is the English translation, was first coined by an art museum uh, as the title for an art exhibition that was initially planned to open in 1923, but didn't open until 1925. The exhibition surveyed the post-expressionism work of various artists, including George Gross, Otto Dix, and others. Now, while varied stylistic approaches were still apparent, all of these artists focused on an objective view of life, aiming at portraying a tangible reality. Another translation uh, for new objectivity is often matter-of-factness, suggesting the focus on the commonplace and the straightforward. They don't want to hide anything. They don't want to narrate. They don't want to commentate. They just want to give you what they see as objective reality. 